Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Wine Library TV. I'm your host, Gary Vaynerchuk. Before we get into the wine, water. Got to have it at every tasting. If you have people over and you can do a blind tasting or a tasting, make sure you have lots and lots of water. And I just discovered this little guy uh, very recently. It's from Iceland, Reka. It's fantastic. It's become my go-to guy and I just thought I'd give it a shout out today because, you know, it's pretty much fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, who doesn't love Portuguese wines? Raise your hand. Well, I do adore them. And I usually adore them because they're ports. And we all love ports. You know, nice cigar, after dinner with the cheese, everybody's high on ports. Well, let me stun you today. Portuguese red wine. I'm serious. Portuguese red wine. Quinta da Carolina. That's right. Quinta da Carolina. 1999. Portuguese wine. $30, $40 a bottle. Unheard of. Well, what's unheard of is Jerry and Catalie Looper getting up in 1993 and just moving to Europe. Jerry, one of the great founding winemakers, not founding, but definitely a legend in the early days of California. Fremark Abbey in the 70s. Chateau Montalena in the 70s. Diamond Creek in the 70s. This guy knows his stuff. Well, they went to Europe, they went to the Czech Republic, bounced around. I'm not sure what the real story is about why they went or how come they went. But I'm, I'm sure he you know, either had an itch or they needed money, so he started working for some of the Portuguese wineries. And while they were there, they fell in love. And in 1998, they got their own plot of land. And in 1999, they created this instant classic. And yes, I'm calling it an instant classic, and I'm going to tell you why. This is the kind of wine that changes your mindset on a region. I was blown away by the quality of this wine. And Portugal is on the scene. It's coming hard. 2007, 2008, Portuguese wines everywhere in the restaurants in Manhattan. Trust me. Remember, I told you. So, let's get into it. Quinta de Catalina. Tinta Ruiz. Terrega Fonseca. Grapes I'm sure you've heard of. Not Merlot, not Cab. That's right. Grapes from Portugal. And so, you know, that's what really makes it exciting. Now, what's really interesting, and we'll get into this and then we'll get into the wine. Right down here, you may see it says Tras o Montes, which is basically the way they're calling the, where the wine's from. It's really from the Douro region. The Douro region, if you don't know, is the region, the Napa of Portugal, where all the great ports come from. And the reason they couldn't call it a Douro is because they thought they were going to use Cabernet in it. You know, I, I assume that Jerry thought they were going to need it, um, you know, to give it some some weight and some complexity, but obviously the grapes can do that by themselves. As you can see, I'm really excited about this wine. I've already had it four times in the six months that it's been here. So uh, today it gets exposed to the world, and I'm really excited. Um, they didn't use Cabernet, and they won't be using Cabernet. And so in the O2 vintage, you will see the Doro appellation on the tag, on the label, I should say. Let's get into it. Three hours of being opened. Um, we should probably get a decanter. I think that's something I'm going to work on. But uh, as for now, three hours, great nose, dry cherry, kind of like a, it's got a nice uh, cassis aspect to it. Classic red wine. I mean, really, you know, what you expect it to smell like. Champion. This wine's a champion. World champion. Grapefruit. Awesome long finish. Just excited about the finish. Just goes on for days. Only 175 six packs imported into the US. I mean, you know, only the top flight restaurants and the big time retailers get this wine. So we're proud to have it. We're honored to have it. And Jerry and Carolee, if you ever see this, we're just delighted with the quality of this wine. We're just so impressed. It's changed my mind. It'll definitely change your mind. Go out and see what's going on. Portugal is coming. That's right. Hard. Fifteen, eighteen, seventeen, twenty dollars. The wines are impeccable quality. You're gonna be paying a hundred dollars for this wine in ten years. Mark it down. Remember I said so. Thank God for the internet. This video will be saved and I can tell everybody, look, I told you so. Great, unbelievable complexity in the nose, and that's what I look for. The finish is like 15 to 25 seconds. It's got all the red fruit flavors you'd like, cherry, strawberry. It reminds me of a Bordeaux, 
meeting a Shatner to pop. Um, I'm just blown away. I beg you to get this wine. It's going to be on some of the best lists in the world, so look for it. It's easy. Just look for Portugal. They'll probably only have one. Quinta de Catalina. We'll see you next time. Wine Library TV.